Hey guys, today we're taking an updated look at Create Studio. Since we last reviewed Create Studio, they have made some big, big changes on their platform. They've added a lot of features. And so I wanna look at some of the most exciting ones today. Now, I'm not gonna rehash everything we talked about in the first video. I'm gonna link to that right here, and I'll also stick the link down in the description box as well. But I'm really gonna focus today on some of the new features that Create Studio is very excited about. I wanted to let you know this video is not sponsored, but Create Studio ages ago did give me free access to their platform, and I checked and I still do have that free access. So I didn't pay for this product, but all of these opinions, as always, are my own, and I'm honest about everything. Let's get right into it. The first feature I want to talk about is the camera feature that has been added to Create Studio. Now, if you're not clear on what a camera movement is, a camera movement is something I see in a lot of softwares, and it basically means that it's as if you have a video camera shooting your video. So you can like zoom in on certain parts of the frame or pan, zoom out. It definitely makes your videos much more dynamic, and I'm very excited that Create Studio added a camera feature. Let's see how it functions. So what I'm going to do is add a camera movement to this opening frame of my existing video. If you look down at my timeline, I'm gonna scroll back my playhead a little bit. So once the scene has kind of animated in, let's add a camera feature. Now to do that, we're gonna go up to the top center of the screen and hit add camera. And then I'm going to go on over to my project pane here down in the bottom left. See this line that's come up? camera, we're going to add a plus sign. And then in our timeline, this little bar appears. And so right now it's not doing anything because we have not made any adjustments. So what I want to do is start full screen on my video. And then I want to zoom in on our character here. So I've got my playhead queued up to before my camera bar. And I'm going to leave it there because we are starting full frame and we know we're starting full frame because look at this around my canvas. I have this pink outline. Is it pink or is it purple? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So now what I'm going to do is move my playhead down further in my timeline till after that bar. And then I'm going to take these handles on these purple lines here and I'm gonna reposition them, and this is where I'm going to zoom up. So everything within this highlighted box is what the camera will see once we're done animating. So to show you how that looks, I'm gonna cue up my playhead in the timeline. I'm gonna hit the space bar to play. Ready to start a YouTube channel, but need content ideas. There are plenty of places to find in. So did you see that? It zooms in, and if we wanna make the zoom happen slower, I just, extend the length of this bar by grabbing this little white dot to start a YouTube channel, but need content ideas. There are plenty. Great. And now if I want to do something else in the frame, like zoom back out, I hit the plus sign again on camera. And I move my playhead past that bar. So you can't be on the bar. You have to be past the bar to make the adjustment. We can zoom all the way back out by hitting this expand camera button right here. There are plenty of places to find inspiration. First, look under the U. And then on our next scene, if we want to add a camera, again, we just hit this plus sign. Cue up our playhead after this bar. And now this time, let's zoom in and then add another camera, go past the bar, and we're going to pan to the right. Let's see how that looks. Look under the YouTube trending tab. What trends can you make a video about? You can also. All right, so that is how the camera feature works in Create Studio. I like this feature a lot. I find it really easy to use. Um, the way that they lay it out is a great visual representation of what you can expect to see. Uh, in your finished video. And I really like the actual movement on the camera. It really eases in and eases out. It really has kind of a, like a modern, elegant feel to it. So for me, this camera feature is a big thumbs up. Another new feature that Create Studio has added is our what are called these scroll stoppers. We've been seeing a lot of these in a lot of these platforms. And what's funny about it, 
is that a lot of these animations are the same across so many platforms. I don't really know like where where these animations came from that everyone's using them. And I don't know, to be honest with you, who the first person was to invent these, but they are pretty great. So you can use one of these templates or you can create your own. I'm gonna create my own. So I'm gonna go back to home. I'm gonna hit create new project. For my preset, I'm gonna select Facebook and Instagram so it's the right dimensions and let's hit create project now. Now we wanna go over to studio up here in the top left. Let's find scroll stoppers and let's first pick UI, which I believe is user interface. I'm gonna select the Instagram bottom configuration. So there's different configurations. You can have your text in the middle of the image and the animation scrolling around it. I'm just going to go with the bottom one here and then you can customize all of this text. So when people see this on your Instagram, it looks just like an Instagram post, but it's got a 3d effect. You can even change the date, the post date. You can change how many likes. And if you look on over here in your project pane, you can even adjust like whether or not the heart is highlighted. I mean, this is this is great. So now let's put in our background image. I'm gonna import my own image. So now we need to add our background media. So what I'm going to do is select replace media down here in my timeline. You can see it in my project pane here. We're gonna hit this blue replace button and then we're going to select our image out of our media pane and we can reposition it. And now let's add the fun stuff. Let's go up to studio top left, go to scroll stoppers effects. And now let's choose which animation we want to add. For me, I'm going to choose this plane. I'm just going to drag it and drop it into my canvas. And then let's hit the space bar and play it. So what do I think about this feature? I think this is a great add-on for Create Studio. I can't believe that they added this on to their program because there are standalone programs that just make these scroll stoppers like breakout clips, which I did review already. And Create Studio pretty much just does the same thing, but so much more. So for that reason, this also gets a big two thumbs up for me. All right, I'm gonna exit out of here. Let's start one more new project so I can show you the other big feature that Create Studio has added, and that is the ability to get doodles into your Create Studio videos. What's great about the doodle feature in Create Studio is that in Create Studio, you can incorporate like moving images and 3D cartoon images, and you're really not limited to that just basic whiteboard style that you are with other whiteboard animation software. So you can really let your imagination fly here. Let me just show you a little bit how it works. Let's start by just making our background white. Now, again, you could add any of the backgrounds in Create Studio and do this doodle effect. I'm just gonna keep it simple with the white. Create Studio does not have a ton of doodle illustrations. If you're looking for that like traditional whiteboard look, just go under icons, illustrations, lined characters. And here are the doodle images that come with Create Studio. You guys, there's not a lot of them. So if you're looking for that traditional whiteboard look, you would have to bring in your own doodle images. It's not like doodly where there's a ton of things in a scene for every situation. It's not like that at all. But for me in Create Studio, it's really the functionality that I think is really great. Let me show you how to add a doodle to this image. What you're going to do is head on over to your project pane bottom left, hit this drop down arrow and turn on doodle effects by hitting this plus sign. And now the first thing you might want to do is choose a hand. Look at how many hands come with Create Studio. There's cartoon styles. There's realistic hands. They're holding chalk. They're holding markers. They're holding pencils. They're facing the camera. They're facing away from the camera. There's like a lot going on here. 
I kind of like this funny one with the tattoos. I'm just gonna use that right now. It's like the most hilarious tattoos, like who is a pineapple tattoo? All right, so I'm just gonna hit the space bar to show you what the default um, effect is here with the doodle feature. So it just scribbles in on a diagonal. And if I wanna make it happen slower, I can extend the doodle effect. Okay, so that is something to know that's different from Doodly. With Doodly, everything that comes in the Doodly platform already has a built-in custom path. So it really does literally draw on your illustration, which is very, very nice. Create Studio does not have that. I don't know if that's something they're working on, um, but you can do a custom path and let me show you how to do that so we can actually make it draw in more naturally. So now that I've added my doodle effect, I'm gonna hit this little gear here. Let's hit manual and then edit path, the screen button. And it gives you little points here. If you wanna add a point in your motion path, you hold down shift while you click your mouse and then to undo it, hit shift, control and click to get rid of a uh, um, a point on your path. So I'm going to start here on the path. So the default was, if you remember the hand scribbled in here from the top left, I'm actually going to start on our character here and hold down my shift key and click. And I'm just going to click away. Now what you're seeing with the purple is what part of the image is going to be revealed as the hand draws it. So we want to make sure the entire image at the end of our custom path is highlighted in purple. And if you mess up like I just did, you can grab your points and move them after the fact. All right, let's play that back. Now, if I wanted to make my motion path narrower, head on over to drawing size here and you can dial that down and look at how skinny the purple lines get. So I would have to add a lot more points in here to, to really reveal this entire image. I'm gonna boost that up. And then the other option you do have with Create Studio is to turn off the hand. So it actually just reveals on. This works as a great transition in Create Studio as well. So that's the doodle feature in Create Studio. Another great add-on for Create Studio. What I think about this feature is that I'm missing some of the control that you have with the doodly platform in terms of drawing things on. The main thing for me that's missing is that you can only add a singular custom path to an illustration um, as opposed to in doodly, you can add multiple custom paths on your images and why that's important is that, you know, here you saw when I expanded the purple line or uh, shrunk the purple line, it really affects like the level of detail you're getting with the drawing. And sometimes in an image, you might have really thick wide lines and then very, you know, fine detail. And so in Doodly, you can add multiple motion paths so you can have different widths on your reveal on a single image. And you cannot do that in Create Studio. So if you really wanna do something elaborate and really show off that drawing aspect, um, you might be missing that in Create Studio. But let me give you my final thoughts on these updates. I'm gonna make a bold statement. I think Create Studio is the best value for any of the online platforms I've ever looked at uh, for you guys on this channel. Literally, they're just like stepping up their game all the time and the price doesn't really seem to change. It's amazing. I. I, they're not paying me to say this. I really, really recommend Create Studio. You guys are always asking me, what do you recommend? What do you recommend? With the, the fact that you've got the doodle images in here now, the scroll stoppers in here now, the camera effect, which I did feel was kind of missing the first time I looked at Create Studio, hands down, this platform does, does it all. It has a text-to-speech feature. Um, it has great 3D, like Pixar style images. And you should definitely look at that original review I did of Create Studio if you're still not convinced that this is a great platform. I have a link to Create Studio in the description box. If you use that to purchase Create Studio, they'll know that I sent you. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Um, but I definitely, if you're in the market for something like this, I can wholeheartedly recommend Create Studio to you. And you know that if you're a follower of my channel, 
I've, I don't think I've ever said that. I, there's always things that I'm, you know, not loving about any of these platforms. And I can be a really, really tough reviewer and create studio. You guys are doing such a great job. Keep it up. Let's all have a round of applause for create studio. Good job guys. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back next week with another video.